It definitely looks like there's a filter on, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Okay. It says we're live. I would be so grateful if you could let us know if you can hear us okay. Um, hello, everyone. Good evening. This is so exciting. I haven't done a live stream with you for ages. No, it has been ages, hasn't it? Uh, oh, good. Perfectly. You can hear us okay. Hello. <laughs> thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, thank you for all your lovely comments. I can see them all coming up on the live chat. And if you're watching... Um, Obviously, this is going to be pre-recorded. If you're watching it on the playback, then thank you as well for joining us. Uh, it's lovely to see you all. Lovely to see your faces and names. Um, so, yeah, thank you. Can't believe we're live. <laughs> I'm so glad you can hear us. I can't tell you how nervous I was to try and set this up. I love the way that no matter how much you prefer, you just everyone turns into like a live stream stereotype. Like watching the names pop up. I and know. The same things. Everyone does exactly Yeah, the same. I know. We'll just wait for a few more people to yeah, join yeah. us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have got um we have got an ipad and a phone here so we can see you but oh my gosh look how many of you are joining thank you so much i'd love to hear where you're joining us from because i've had quite a few dms today from a lot of you in the us and australia as well so hopefully this is a good time for you all but if you're in the uk good evening grab your drinks we're not going to do anything you know too celebratory we're just going to chit chat to uh -huh. you I've, I've got my wine. I've dribbled my drink already. Oh, we've had a super chat. No way. Yeah. Hang on, who's that from? Can I read it? Nonstop Paris. Oh, it's Cheryl. Cheryl. Hi, honey. Thank you so much. That is so sweet. We were re-watching re the video in which we have our first date last night. Yes. And obviously Cheryl's in it. Which She's is a friend, funny. so thank you. Lovely. That's so sweet. We were sweet. going through that and you were bowling, weren't you, the day after our first date? Yeah, he, he was saying, who's that? Who's that? Um, right, I have got a bottle of White and Mandel Rosé. Yeah, and a, and a straw. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have a glass. I have a oh, glass. Right. Benji's got, what have you got? I have got Dead Man's Finger and Pepsi Max. Nice. Portugal. Portugal. Southampton. Oh, let's see. Look at all the places people are joining from. Whenever I hear like a foreign country, all I hear, all I think of is like what professional footballers come from that country. Of course you do. It's just, it just... do you know all the different teams and everything? Yeah, Sorry, this is right way. next to the microphone. I wonder how loud that is. It's ASMR. ASMR pouring of the wine. Thank you so much. Catherine. Who was that? Katrin. Oh my gosh! Look at the little Bravo. I That's that so cute. Foxy. We've got a fox that's in our next door garden. Yes, I filmed the fox in this Did week's you? vlog. Yeah, in the home so vlog. Sweet. Do you want to cheers me? No, thank you. <laughs> No, you're right. If you've got a drink, cheers. Cheers. cheers, 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 guys and girls. Cheers, everyone. Why can't I drink? Have you just dribbled that? Yes. <laughs> what is going All on? All over the sofa. Yeah. I can't believe we reached a hundred thousand subscribers. Thank you so much, Alice. That's super kind of you. Wow. So, so many of you are joining us. There are over eight hundred of you, which is absolutely wild. Um, and I just want to say thank you. Wow, Jenny's from New Zealand. We love New Zealand. New Zealand. We've got some people down the road in Hampshire. I wish I was in New Zealand was watching it? the cricket at the moment. Thank you so much, Kay, for your generous, generous super chat message. That's so nice of you. We will uh, treat ourselves to something lovely. That's so kind. So many of you. So before we get fully started, we have a few things to talk about and share with you today. Just a ch general chit chat. <laughs> I do. I've written a list. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, but if you have any questions, what? oh look, Stina, thank you so much. Congratulations! You bring so much positive energy to us all. Grab some champagne and celebrate yourself. You deserve it. Thank you. Thank you so much. That is so generous. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. I literally just had that thought as soon as I read that comment. Get rid of the straw. I think it is the straw. Yeah. That's what's making you dribble it all everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. So before we get properly started, we have a few things we're going to chat to you about tonight. But if you have any questions, anything you want to chat about, it's, you know, it's casual. We were going to do like a whole confetti party hats and all that. But really, we just wanted to chat. No, <laughs> we I'm just wanted to chat. Oh, we've done that before, haven't we? No, no thank you. Um, but we did want to say thank you so much. Can you even believe it? 100,000. It's absolutely wild. And I feel really emotional all the time when I talk about it because I just, I'm so grateful. Thank you, Jane. That's so nice of you. Super, super proud of you. I've been here since 10,000 subscribers. Blessings to you both. Love from Connecticut, USA. That's before I Thank existed. <laughs> well, yeah, long That's before, before you. That's before the vlogs got good. Long before you. When, 
Oh, Gary C is here as well. Hi, Gary. Hello, Gary. Um, when, how many subscribers did I have when I met you? Because I remember we celebrated 50,000 together. Was it, tw- I think, like about 26,000? Was it? Ish. That's quite specific that you remember that. That's uh, Oh, we've got another one. Thank you so, so much. Nikki, that's so kind of you. Big love. Lovely to see you. Um, yeah, so we're just going to be chatting about a few things. We're going to tell you about what's coming up. We're going to talk about 100,000. We are also celebrating our six-year anniversary today, today, which is absolutely wild. Can you believe that? Mm-hmm. Six years. And one year since we got engaged, which is just so exciting. What so... are the chances that the two happened on the same day? Crazy, isn't it? <laughs> Like, not like we planned it at all. Um, so yeah, 100,000 this week and our anniversary. It's been pretty amazing. We appreciate it so much. And it's... the most, the biggest achievement that happened this week, you obviously hit a thousand, but more important than that, I thousand, got a hundred thousand. You got a hundred thousand, but more important than that, <laughs> yeah, I got my first ever hole in one. He did, which is just that's it. I've retired now. You've retired because you got a hole I've in retired, one. I've completed it. Yeah, but I think the thing is, is that you should let people know that the hole in one was from quite far away because you, like, yeah. well, yeah, yeah, that's a hole in one. It's from the tea box. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, it was. It, it was, was good. good. It wasn't even crazy girl for anything, which obviously was... all my mates said as soon as I said <laughs> I got a hole in one. Oh, play crazy golf again. <laughs> um, but no, yeah. So he's very chuffed about that. And I'm actually going on a golf break, my first ever golf break tomorrow mm-hmm. to I don't know, like near Basingstoke kind of way. Um, so yeah, me and two mates are going to do. Two a rounds golf of golf, but yeah, so it's gonna be quite fun. You've never done anything like that no, before. No, never, never. I've I've only just been able to play golf before, let alone like do it yeah. like back to back. So um You've only just started playing golf, really. Yeah, just after COVID, really, yeah, wasn't it? Last maybe years. maybe like I played a tiny bit before COVID, but then mm-hmm. after COVID, it was just a really nice excuse to be able to get out and about and mm-hmm. do stuff again after being pent up for a while. So <laughs> Someone um, said, "Did you buy everyone a drink at the nineteen uh, pub?" No, no, the um, <laughs> the clubhouse is more of a shack, um, and they they just about have a coffee machine. So um, no, I've I've been informed that I will be buying the first round and maybe the second and third Fair. at the weekend. So uh, yeah, at the weekend, yeah. So first golf weekend. So I am on my own, which is why we're doing this tonight. I think we would have done it Saturday night, but yeah. um, we he's not going to be around. I didn't want to do it on my own. <laughs> <laughs> um so yes we are going to save this live stream so it will be um playable back later on uh somebody asked if you still play bowls as well speaking of I, do you know, I actually haven't this this year um i feel like crazy uh, crazy golf i feel like golf has kind of taken over a little bit hasn't it mm-hmm. um so no i haven't played since christmas but no but you still like I, I haven't stopped i just haven't been back since christmas so yeah uh, I just want to say thank you to Ashley. She said, congratulations to you both from Ashley, Ben and baby Hickling, our son soon to be in Great the name, next ben. few weeks chatting to you from Derbyshire. Thank you so much, Ashley. I see your name. I see your face. I see loads of you. I actually recognize so many of your names. I do my best to um, reply to comments. I do my very best. Um, and thank you, Catherine. That's so kind of you and generous. Thank you very, very much. You're all so sweet and kind. I love it. I'm so grateful. Is that um, Australian dollars? Is that Australia? No, it's just dollar dollars, I think. Yeah, no, a, a dollars. Oh, sure oh I see. Oh, yeah, like US dollars, A yeah. dollars. Oh, yeah, that's super nice. I need to get you to Australia. Yeah. I love Australia. Yeah, I really I want to go I used to go, go quite a lot growing up, and I feel like I'm part Australian, like deep down, <laughs> apart from when the ashes is on, where I'm very much not Australian. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. We met an Australian couple in Disneyland Paris, we and did. they were so lovely. But Benji has an accent that comes out. It's, it just comes to assimilate. Assimilate is the word when you take on somebody else's accent, I think. Oh, is it? Yeah. I, I always, whenever I'm around Aussies, I always assimilate. I think that's the right word. Amazing. Um, Bonnie, do you know what? Bonnie has just walked in, stared at us from the walked doorway and thought, nap, back to bed, thank you very much. <laughs> she's tired. She's been on a walk this afternoon and she's... Uh, yeah, she's gone. So if she comes back, we'll bring her up and get her to sit here. Jesse's asked, will you get back to Watergate Bay in Cornwall? We would Ooh. love to go out to Watergate Bay. Yeah. It's one of our favourite places in the UK, isn't it? It's stunning there and it's dog friendly. Um, we Did we bring Bonnie? No, we didn't have Bonnie at that We didn't time. have Bonnie, no. It's really nice there, really, really nice. Um, how are you, Benji? Someone asked, how are you um, doing? Fab, thank you very much. Doing good. Yeah, doing all right, <laughs> hanging in there, still here. Yes. Um, do you have any trips to Greece in the near future, Piano, perhaps? Nothing for Greece, um, but we are looking at our trip on Arvia. So mm-hmm. we are going to be going on Piano Cruises Arvia in the summer. It was meant to be 
spring but we've pushed it back because we have a slightly different plan and idea so more on that later but we will be covering Arvia which we're really excited about um and actually we can sort of tell you a little bit about our upcoming trips if you like mm -hmm. we've got a we've couple got a busy of things. month haven't we yeah so we may as well talk about some of the things we're doing to celebrate so the next trip we have we're doing two UK breaks two staycations Yes. Take case, that's right word, isn't it? Yes, take case. Yes, yeah. So the first one is London. I'm just going to say quickly before they, they move along, thank you so much to Dutch Disney Dreams. That's so sweet and kind of you. And thank you, Rachel. Congratulations. Love you guys. Thank you very, very much. That's really kind of you for your very lovely, generous donations. Um, so, yes, London. The London trip we're doing is for three days. We're going to be vlogging it all. And this trip came about because we love theatre as you all know and we have two theatre trips that we're well two theatre shows that we're doing yeah um big thank you to Steph she said congratulations to you both 100,000 fantastic celebrate every moment Steph and Josh in knots oh thank you thank guys you. that's so sweet um yes yeah, so we're doing two shows does anyone want to try and guess which two shows we're doing I don't think we've mentioned them anywhere one of what I'll give you a clue one of which is based off a film and the film is based off a musical. Um, it's iconic. It has got... We've got one iconic one Ewan and McGregor one brand new one. Moulin Rouge, there you go. Caitlin's Moulin got Rouge. one already. And the other one is... Let's see who gets it first. A it's a new one. TV. Oh, no, Megan. There you go. Well done, Megan. Great, Great British Bake, bake off. off. Yeah. We have already seen Newsies. We've seen Hamilton. So these are two we haven't seen before. So Moulin Rouge was a gift from Benji's dad for Christmas. It was mm -hmm. a very lovely Christmas gift. So we booked that in. And then for my birthday from Benj as a gift, I desperately wanted to see the Great British Bake Off musical. It's brand new. I have absolutely no idea what it's like, but I do feel like you have to give these shows like a chance. Yeah. And we love shows. So we're doing like a theatre weekend, I guess. It's going to be good, isn't it? And then do you want to share what else we're doing? We are, as a lucky congratulations from me to Brogan for 100k, we're going to afternoon tea at the Ritz, which Brogan has wanted to do forever. Yeah. So... Surprise, so, surprising yeah, as if they let us in to scruffs like ourselves <laughs> um, let's hope so we can scrub up nicely we can we, we can, we can pretend up. like the best of us so. yeah so we're going to the ritz for afternoon tea can you believe it that is such a lovely treat thank you so <laughs> i've never much. been at all i don't I'm even really i don't think i've seen it i've never been in i don't no. think i've been in i've always wanted to do it it's like really special special treat so that's my lovely gift from you for 100k. Yeah. So we're combining quite a few things, actually. My birthday, the celebrations, our Christmas gift in three full days. We're also going to hang out with my friend Charlie. She's going to mm -hmm. come join us for some drinks. We're going to The Alchemist, um, which we've been wanting to go to for a while. We've heard... been to The Alchemist before. No, we tried to go for your birthday and it wasn't open yet. Do you mm. remember? So we're going there for drinks. Um, yeah, we're going to have some... Co you know we love cocktails. Yeah. We love a cocktail. Um, it's got a nice cocktail bar. Mm and some food so thank you Sophia that's so kind of you she said I'm so proud OG since 2014 mm -hmm. Sophia I know you are I honestly am so grateful she knows me very well <laughs> thank you so much super sweet of you um so yeah let me know if any of you have seen Moulin Rouge or if there's any other shows you think we should be looking at but I think two shows in three days is probably plenty <laughs> yeah we're still absolutely obsessed with um Heathers, aren't we? That we saw a couple of weeks ago. We're both playing it out loud all the so time. Good. And I feel like the more I play it, like <laughs> I, my, my preference on favourite songs changes. Yeah, we both have different favourite songs. Mine's mm. Dead Girl Walking. And yours was Freeze Your Brain yesterday. No, it's no, it's not. It's not Freeze Your Brain. It's just that is the song that comes on after. Oh, no. Which one is it? It's the third song. If you're not a theatre oh, lover. I'm trying to play it out loud now. Um, it's all going wrong. I've got water too for, for good balance. Fight for me. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, so. Well, I, love I love seven, 17 was the only song that I'd heard before we'd seen it. Yeah. So I like 17. That was what I mean. Like 17 is my favourite going in. This in, I still like it, but mm -hmm. yeah, fight for me. I, lo I like the way. I like Dead Girl Walking. I like a lot of them, actually. I also liked um, I Say No. I say no. Yeah, so we've had that on a lot. No, no, we should have no, had no. some nice music in the background, shouldn't we? We didn't mm, think about this. This is our first to, radio. Listen to us. It's all <laughs> True. There's over a thousand of you here. That's so crazy. thank you so much, all of you that have joined us this evening or daytime, wherever you are. Um, so yeah, so that's the London trip. So hopefully you will enjoy that vlog. I think it would just be one big vlog, you know, to share 
the theatre shows, what we thought of them, and just like London special weekend and the Ritz. Probably going to do some reels and shorts on those kind of things as well, and we'll share all our opinions. Um, oh, so many of you are sharing so many great shows we need to see. Some of them we've already seen, actually. Would it be cool to do a theatre video at some point? Maybe I need to share my favourite ones. Um, oh, Jack and Nick, thank you so much. Congratulations and happy anniversary to you both. My boyfriend and I love watching your videos. It's inspired us to do our own channel. That's, really That's cool. so nice. Thank you. And also to get Binky, thank you so much. That's really kind of you. Um, some of you are saying that you're looking forward to seeing Frozen. Frozen is my number one. Frozen is my that, number three, one. Three times. times I've seen it and I love it. What's your number one theatre show? Mm -hmm. Lame is, is just OG OG. Mm -hmm. um, Hamilton, Waitress. Yeah. Yeah. Just any of them, really. Um, Benji, you were hilarious in the third and final Disneyland Paris vlog with the, <laughs> oh, the butter and the rainforest the yeah. cafe. I was going to go and pick up the butter, but it's just, Honestly. it's out of the packet now. Honestly. But President Butter is incredible. We have it here at home now. I saw it in Tesco <laughs> and I got very excited. Yeah, you did. You came home. Everyone likes the crepes in the car. Oh, crepes in a car. Honestly, this series might be one of my favourites purely for the absolute chaos, but also <laughs> because we were the most relaxed. Like Because we've done it before. Done it before. We'd filmed mm. it all before. So we were trying to think outside the box and show you stuff we hadn't done. But also, it was so quiet. We just had so much time to be able to do things. Yeah. It was genuinely such a great trip. Yeah. I felt really, like, satisfied at the end. And it's all great for you guys. You get to see the, 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 the jokes that make the cut. <laughs> You don't see the absolute drivel that I come out with. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes he waffles on a bit. I do. Um, but that's fine. We we love someone who's confident enough to chat on camera. So thank you if you did watch the Zamparis vlogs. Um, it's, it's just got like, I've, now I've got fun. like a channel for my just dad humour. <laughs> it's a pure dad humour, isn't it? Sometimes when I'm editing it, I'll actually laugh out loud and I'll stop the vlogs. I'll stop editing and I'll say, Ben, you have to listen back to yourself because this is comedy gold. <laughs> I hear you chuckling upstairs. And you know. <laughs> Megan, thank you so much. She said, been a subscriber since the beauty wow, closet. The beauty closet. If you know what the beauty closet is, you are a serious OG because I started the beauty closet. Should I tell you a little story? I'll tell you a little story. The beauty closet started when I was like 18 and I was studying business studies at college and I was I was really excited about my channel. I had about 5,000 subscribers and my mom and I decided to start a small business where we sold um, scarves, decorative pieces, jewelry, and I'd go to trade shows yeah, and, um, and I'd find and source products. I just want to say thank you to Elle. Congratulations, been here since I was 12 slash 13. I'm now 21 with my own family. Congratulations on the 100K. Love Ellie, Liam and our baby. Oh, I missed it. Aurora. The baby aurora thank you so much and thank you amy would you ever do a meet and greet would love to meet you both congratulations on your 100k and happy anniversary well we the would wild love thing about being on 100k is we'd sell out the it would sell out wembley i can't even <laughs> i can't even picture it we'd love to do a meet and greet in the right time and environment i mean i used to love doing them at sitzy if the opportunity ever came up we would of course love to meet yeah. you so yes um and thank you kaylee she said you are a beautiful soul been following oh my gosh for a long time congratulations from tennessee thank you so much um yeah so going back the beauty closet was this website I started and it was really successful we used to hand pack and wrap everything i'd hand write notes to people um, but eventually I didn't like charging a lot. So my profit margins were really small and the business just wasn't, um, gaining me like a lot more, of profit. It was, more it was ag aggro <laughs> than it was. I don't, I wasn't with it you was, at the time, but from it what It was quite saying. hard. Like when I'd go on a trip or I'd go away or whatever, um, to, oh, don't knock the balloons. Don't even look at the balloons. <laughs> Wait till you see that the next vlog, they haven't seen that yet in the next vlog. It's so funny. Anyway, um, it was, it was just, oh yeah. Anyway, the long story short is the beauty cause it was an amazing little business I had. And if you were around since then, it was just so much fun. We had like bunny lights. I know that sounds really specific, but they were like little bunnies. And they were like, you know, when stuff comes in, I oh, know, don't, it was cute. There was cute stuff. There were like scarves and bags and there mm. were um, lights that were flowers. No, don't, it was great. <laughs> I should, no, it was I an should amazing, dig out my stock. It was an amazing first business for I don't you, think I have any, yeah. I don't think to I have like any teach you about business and- mm, It was, it was fun. It was really fun. 
yeah so the beauty closet was very early days very very early days so if you've been around since then and you ever bought anything from there wow thank you you have been here for 10 years if not 12 12 years I imagine Hannah thank you so so much that is super super kind of you um yes so what else were we saying Oh my gosh, bunny lights I would buy. Yeah, no, they were so cute. Trust me, just trust me on it. I actually won an award for that business. It was my first award I won. It was Businesswoman of the Future, which was very exciting. I mean, J Jack, I assume you're a Birmingham fan because I would love to discuss an 8-0 win. I don't think it's happened for a very, very long time. I don't time. know what you're talking about, but you can take that to a DM if you wish. <laughs> um, oh, I still got my be beauty closet bit. Stop. If any of you have any bits, please take photos and send them to me. I want to see. Um, yeah, so the beauty closet days, lived in my mum's house. And then over the last 10 years, I've literally shared all the jobs I did. And some of you will tell me when you joined by categorizing about five things. So it was either in my mum's garden, when I worked in a baby shop. <laughs> in my mum's car. No. <laughs> vroom, vroom. <laughs> in my mum's garden. Car. No, specifically, I used to film in the garden. Um, and people will remember those videos. I actually used to make book videos back then. Can you believe it? I've come full circle now. Uh, so yeah, the beauty closet, my mum's garden, the baby shop, Go Ape. Some of you remember when I worked at Go Ape. That's a whole nother story. Um, then it would have been when I worked at the Ice Coffee Company. Some of you will tell me that. When I got my flat. Sorry, I'm getting football manager questions now. No, no I'm sorry. You. We don't care for football manager. The Viking <laughs> in Norway last year, but I'm currently on a Wrexham save and we're absolutely dominating League Two. Benj, no. No one here cares about football manager. You could have a whole like group of friends online just from football chat. Oh, I'd love to have my own sports and sports gaming thing. Why don't you? You could easily. Know, about what I have to say. Yes, they do. No, Watch this space. Enough. Ben will have his own football manager thing before you know it. Um, I've been here since being brave. Oh, I don't know what that means, but that sounds nice. I'm just going to pour more wine. Um, really sorry if you can hear that. I have plugged my actual microphone in, by the way. So I was just asking about our first date. I suppose a lot of people... Oh. Won't know our first date story, will they? Oh, do you want this story? I actually was thinking about doing a whole video um, in the lead up to us getting married. I've got loads of plans of ideas, videos. And one of them I was thinking of is just us sitting down chatting about how we met, first date, the first few years, and just like our relationship and the things that um, have bonded us and like worked for us. And I don't know. I think that'd be quite a sweet video. Yeah. But do you want, we can tell the first date story. So matched on Tinder. It's, it's, it's. We chatted for about a week, didn't we? Making, yes. Vetting each other, making sure we weren't serial killers. Um, <laughs> and then we went on the first date on the Friday. Went mm -hmm. to a steak, a steak. I picked you up. Yeah, gosh, you're, not, you're missing some very key details I picked here. you up from your flat and we joked during the week that I would. You had a bunch of flowers. I'd throw stones at your windows with a, like a stereo, like playing Disney songs. And for that Christmas, I'd been given a Disney, like literally 100, song, Dis 100 best Disney songs. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I got hiccups. Um, so I played, we uh, sang Disney songs, I bought you flowers, which you see in the vlog is Bro Brogan um, reacting to her flowers afterwards Still when alive. she's had a couple of drinks. Um, <laughs> we, yeah, we sang Aladdin in the car, didn't we? And we switched parts. I did, a, a I did Aladdin, Aladdin, yeah. Um, can you believe that? We were so comfortable straight away, immediately and remember, that we're singing a Disney song. I remember you'd been to CEX the day that day, was I selling my iPhone or something, something like that? And we were joking, like, like really funny, like deep jokes straight away. And then we went to a steak restaurant in Bournemouth, mm -hmm. um. And then you booked the restaurant, I you parked your car and took me to this nice place and we had a nice meal. Yeah. I don't remember a lot of the meal, do you? No. Like it feels like a blur. Yeah. I think because you both had adrenaline of like we just knew vibes. immediately. And then we went to Aruba on the pier, Bournemouth, had cocktails. Yeah. But to give people context that don't know where that is, Bournemouth Beach has got a pier, and the restaurant is upstairs and they have a balcony with heaters in the winter. So obviously it was February the 24th, 2017. So we were sat, I think it was like two for one cocktails or something. And we were sat outside on the balcony with the heaters. It was so chilled and relaxed and we could hear the waves against the, like the shore. 
And there were a couple of other people around, but it was like, it was a really nice chill Friday night because it was obviously February, you know, it was dark and cold. Um, and so then we had our first kiss on the balcony. Mm -hmm. And after that, we took a couple of selfies to send to some friends. I remember <laughs> thinking it was crazy that we were taking selfies. Ago, was it? We had Snapchat filters on them. Yeah, yeah, we were taking, <laughs> yeah, we did. And we deleted Tinder there and then. But not just like the hard deleted it, like deleted our accounts and everything. We went into the back end of our accounts and we were like, let's just delete the accounts. Like we don't need these so, at all. For you yeah. guys asking, when did you know? Like within the first time. I think I kind of knew I like knew. before the date. Like yeah. you know, when you just have the ch chats and you don't have to try at all. I think it's easy when you've been together six years to say, Oh, we knew immediately. But if you go back and watch the vlog, I have a genuine reaction gushing, aren't you? i literally filmed before and after the date i didn't film the date but Which, after the date did you do that with your other dates I don't... not really no. no so you clearly knew before yeah you wanted to get it on camera i said in the vlog because we watched it back i said in the vlog that i just knew immediately and i remember it was it's funny egg. how you remember things yeah i never heard the like phrase good egg and i remember in the, in the comments of the video that like, everyone was calling me a good egg i was like oh, it's a good it's because i said that didn't i that's yeah. exactly what i said so, Thank you so much for your messages. I can see. And then the, literally the day after, so I met you on the Friday, the Saturday night, we were texting throughout the day and I said, mm -hmm. come to my, uh, so I'll come to you. I hadn't seen Frozen. And obviously I'm a big Disney fan. I hadn't seen Frozen on that at that point. So you were taking a mick out of me saying I wasn't a good Disney fan. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so I loved Frozen. We watched Frozen. We ate, I brought a top of Ben and Jerry's and we said like comfies only. So just like joggers and a hoodie. Yeah. It's really PG. 20, <laughs> 24 hours after meeting on our first date. Yeah. Um, and then we had a great time then, watched Frozen, mm -hmm. ate ice cream. Yeah. And then the Sunday, you came to mine. I made us dinner, and I'm pretty sure we watched Moulin Rouge. I... Which is full circle. We did. Yeah. You cooked me a nice meal, went to your house, met your dad. Did I made I? stuffed chicken. I made chicken with, like, Philly cheese... It was wrapped in parma ham. parma ham. It was so nice. Goat and cheese mash and broccoli and carrots. It was specific, good. you remember it was exactly. Good. That was our first weekend together. Can you believe that? It was absolutely wild. So, yeah. I just can't I just can't believe six years has passed. I can't believe 12 years has passed on YouTube. Half that time has been with Banj. And... Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Right? Half of it's been with you. And we've just hit 100,000, <laughs> the better half. <laughs> um, will you share any wedding plans? Yes, Caitlin, we will be sharing wedding plans, not in this live stream. Obviously, you can imagine we're going to do a proper video about that. We have been intending to share it for a while. We are ready to share with you, but it will just be very, very soon. Um, but obviously, yes, we do know everything. We're very excited. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's the story of how we met <laughs> and the last 12 years. and. I know so many of you have been here for a long time, but I also appreciate so many of you found us recently through the cruise vlogs and the Disney vlogs. So thank you. Some of you have been messaging me like, I found you this week and I'm binge watching everything. And that makes me so happy because all my last three or four year vlogs are some of my best ones. So they're the good ones to watch. <laughs> Hayley, thank you so much. She said, happy 100K and happy anniversary. Followed you for many years. Even went to Ho Seasons Isle of Wight for our oh, mini moon because of your vlog. Lots of love. Good choice. Love it there. Um, and congratulations. So exciting. Thank you very much. Um, so the next trip after London, going back to our travel plans and sort of giving you an idea of what's coming up. I shared this on Instagram today, but we are going back to Bath for a few days. Bath. We spent um, a whole afternoon uh, last week deciding that we want to do another little trip with Bonnie. It's been a while since the three of us have done something together. And we just love doing those little staycations, don't we? We love so, trips with Bonnie, don't we? We love taking her places. And we know that she's obviously, well, she's 11, almost 12. Nearly 12. Nearly no, she's 12. 12. Yeah, yeah, she's 11, nearly 12 this year. Um, So I guess for us, we know that we we want to take every opportunity we have. So we thought, let's do a little staycation. And we've been to Bath. I've been for the day and we've both been together for our first anniversary. Mm. We went. And I've worked in Bath quite a lot as well. Yeah. So, so we have been a couple of times. We know Bath. It's kind of like on the like, about an hour and a half-ish away, isn't it? So it's kind of mm. far enough away that feels like we're away, but also not too close where we feel like you can just pop home. And also yeah. Bath has, on the outskirts, the best farm shop in the whole entire world 
It's incredible. We'll show you it in the vlogs. So if you're not from the UK, uh, this video will be really nice. Okay, if you're not from the UK, Bath is, um, a, it used to be a massive Roman town. So there's loads of like Roman ruins and... Um, the Roman baths? Yeah, the Roman baths are yeah. there. Mm -hmm. um, and it's all made out of baths. All, the majority of the buildings are all made out of bath stone. Mm -hmm. So... It's pretty. The, the so houses pretty. are gorgeous. They're like yeah. four-story, like... Is it Victorian, Edwardian, um, like, rows of houses? Gorgeous. Yeah. It's really nice. We haven't been with Bonnie yet, so we're going to go to Sally Lund's Buns. Loads of cute little independent shops as well, aren't there? Yes. I'm going to ask for recommendations on Instagram close to the time. So if you live Georgian, or you've been, you. um, Georgian, um, then please keep an eye out for that on my stories. I will ask and share your recommendations, mm. and we'll do a little list, and we'll make a vlog, obviously. And we've booked a really nice Airbnb that was dog friendly. The owner was so nice chatting to him and it's got a hot tub downstairs in the like, like the ground. It looks like a cellar. It, it looks like a wine cellar. It is. It, yeah, best it's what cool. It, what, what it would have been back in the day, I suppose. Mm. So it should be really nice. So that'll be another vlog coming your way in like three weeks time. Three or four weeks. Yeah. yeah. So it'll be London first. And then Bath. Um, so hopefully you'll enjoy both those. Yeah, Sally Lund's Buns is amazing. Claire, you know it. We love Sally Lund's Buns. My friend Charlie went at Christmas with her mum and I was like, just buy the bun, buy buy a bun, buy the cinnamon mm. spread and you will just And we have the cinnamon spread back. for like ages afterwards. Don't so we? brilliant. So good. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to that. That'd be really nice. We don't have many plans yet for that. Just thought we'd go. Um, would you go back to Cornwall or Plymouth again? Yes, we love Cornwall. We love Plymouth. We love Devon. We love Cornwall. We love anywhere that's, it's not too far for By us. The sea. We just love the sea, yeah. don't we? And we love like little seaside quaint little fishing villages and things like that. And exploring. Love a pasty. <laughs> All of our food. And that's, I think that's the main thing between both of us. Love a pasty. Like, like food brings us so much joy, like if you couldn't tell. Um, yeah. <laughs> and so we all base all of our trips around food, which is why we love Disney, because you got nice food places. Yeah. And so when we go away, we try and like have like, oh, like the food from the places and things like that. Don't yeah. We? Yeah. Um, somebody asked if we know where our honeymoon's going to be. And the answer is yes. We have shared that we are eloping. So we're getting married abroad and then we'll be immediately on honeymoon, if that makes sense. So we'll share more of that very soon. Um, there's loads of lovely like pink waving heart hands. <laughs> someone, Hello. Someone dabbed earlier. Uh, dabbed? Yes, yeah, my it. gosh. Okay. Dublin, yes, we want to go to Ireland, don't we? Oh, uh, yes. Ireland is high on my list. <laughs> I went to, so literally, the, so I met Brogan obviously in February. The January before, I went to uh, Dublin with some friends. Yeah. And we did a long week, uh, just uh, maybe even a weekend. Might have been like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And it, we were so awful. We did. <laughs> we just basically did like a tour of Paddy Powers, a tour of pubs. And then we went to Leopardstown Races and just like drank for a full weekend. I feel like so I want it's to a right do, I want to do Dublin properly. Sure. I want to do, <laughs> like actually see things like and actually be able to see them and them not be blurry, um, which would be fab. But I loved, you know what I loved? Mm -hmm. You go in any bar and there's live music. I love live music. And yeah. Don't want to do, uh, uh, not, not moving on from Ireland too quickly, but we also want to do Nashville, don't we? Got, For the honestly, same reason. Yeah. Live music. Want to see some, I love country yeah. music. I want love to do, Luke Bryan, love Luke Coombs, all of that. Lot. I love that. I love that stuff. I want to do Washington as well. And I want to do... Um, DC or state. Washington's where your friends from. DC. DC is the big city with yeah, the city. Yeah. Uh, to be honest, uh, there's so many places. Like we want to go back to New York. Obviously, we'd love to do Broadway together, like see a show or two. Um, there's so honestly, there's so much that we want to do. So much. Um, Maybe that's what our meetup could be. It's just like I'll recreate my boozy weekend in Dublin for everyone, uh, so we can. <laughs> No, that'd be incredible. <laughs> we won't vlog it because it won't. It will not. It'll make be one it of those trips. YouTube security laws. No cameras and vlog cameras. <laughs> no. We'd have to all. Put, no we'd have to all put our phones in little like lock Box. bags. A little lock bag that like, you'll get that back on the Monday if you're still alive. I think some people are keen for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there, the trips coming up. Um, so a couple of smaller ones. Obviously, we know we've done lots of Disney. We have a cruise coming up. As we said, we're going to be doing that on Piano Cruises Avia. I just like the handle on things question. No budget holiday destination. 
So we love Pino cruises. We love their trips. We love their ships. I the only thing that I think I'd do outside that is I really want to do. I don't know if you've seen it on online the Antarctica cruises. Oh yeah, you're going really over and go. so I want to see the penguins and do like. Yeah. kayaking in the freezing water and stuff. I just I love the idea of going to like, they give you like suits to wear and stuff as, no, they? Yeah, they, as part of the thing they give you like old full Harry Hansen things it's, I think it's really cool but very choppy it, yeah it is um, Miranda I just want to say thank you so much she said my boyfriend and I are going to Walt Disney World in October for our two year anniversary where would you both suggest for a good place to go for dinner let me get that back up um, we are undecided well have the most amazing time I loved our date night dinner at La Celia in the Canadian yeah, Pavilion really in good. Epcot. Um, but it depends on what you like food wise, because I also loved Tepanido as a date night. That was cool. Um, but you do it's sit like, with other people though. But but it's like an experience. Yeah. As well. It's just like a dinner. Which yeah. Is cool. I thought that was amazing. I'll um, go on my Universal with Cowfish. I loved Cowfish. It's not really a date night place though. No, like it's not special. Date night, and but if you go to Universal, because I feel like Universal has got lots of little like snack burger places yeah but if you were doing like a late evening there then yeah but she said Walt great. Disney World so we have to okay. do Disney well, meals I'll read a question and I'll do my own answers <laughs> give, you, give you a different answer yeah, than yours do what I want. uh yeah they, they would be my number one but I also would love to do California Grill but it's a different menu at the moment for the 50th anniversary um but I'm sure other people will have suggestions Gary said what do cowfish do they do burgers it's, basically yeah. and sushi Be beef and fish yeah, oh, it's fish. amazing. Yeah, it yeah, literally yeah, it, is it, in the name. But it's like really good, like big stacked burgers and niceness. Beth in a box. Oh, that's fun. Beth, she said, congratulations. We booked Watergate Bay Beach. That's another one. Lots uh, for our mini moon. It was stunning. We've been following you since your flat from Beth, Adam and baby Mia. Thank you so much, yeah. guys. That's so sweet. And congratulations to you as well. That is yeah, Watergate Bay. Love, love, love. It was just amazing when Watergate we did that. Watergate Bay is great because like it's gorgeous beach and scenery mm. but there's it's close to like your paintings your padstows and mm. the new keys and things like that so you can kind Stunning. of you can go anywhere and everywhere can't you i loved it there i really loved it there um so other trips wise things that we're doing also throughout the rest of the year is we're keeping an eye out on all the disney 100 stuff so i know a lot of you here are as big a disney fans as us so we have three things that we're looking at for well two are booked one that I'm going to keep an eye out for tickets um for the rest of this year so although we don't have a Disney trip booked right now we do still love finding ways to integrate Disney so um like Gary C who's in the chat Gary and I have done a London day and we did a Disney day before which was really fun and Disney 100 is the 100 years of the Disney company so they've got loads of things going on I'm also keeping an eye out for really good merch as well so there's going to be Disney halls Disney days London Disney days um before I carry on I just want to say thank you so much Sam G congratulations bro and hope your skin cancer is healing thank you so much I'll talk about that in a minute you were kind enough to wish me well when I got cancer last year oh no and I'm now in remission oh news, congratulations Sam. Sam and thank you so much yay big love to you and yes I am in um well I am healing but I'm still on my journey with that I'm seeing the dermatologist again in a couple of weeks um but yes so the Disney 100 stuff so we've got the Disney friendship wonder what's it called I shared it on stories the other day that sounds like a lot of words <laughs> that don't seem to wonder friendship or something hang on let me get the official no, name of it it's wonder vision no it's it not disney, disney no year. disney wonder of friendship the experience is what i meant wow sorry <laughs> do you want to come i put your ticket <laughs> why is it why have they used their words all together <laughs> that's the name of it it starts on the 12th of may it's in london and um, I booked tickets recently and it looks like a pop-up experience. Oh. So oh. Bonnie Dog has just walked in and Bonnie? she's gone again. Come here, pop it. She might not want to come up. Um, she's not sure we've got wires and things. Yeah, I don't come think we should. Come on in. No, she's scared of all the stuff. It's all right, pop it, good girl. Um, mm. Just let her be. Go on, girl, go on, go on then, in your bed. Good girl. Good girl. Just leave her. Um, so, yes, we've got the Disney 100. So let us know if anyone's going to that, the wonder of friendship thing. Um, I may even be able to leave a link in the description if you're watching this back. But it looks it looks quite nice. It's like a pop-up thing. So, yes, that's the first thing we've got going on. Pop-up, which also happens to be my favourite type of book. 
a pop up book. Mm-hmm. Brilliant. It's my level. <laughs> um, so that's the first one. The second thing we have is the concert, and Disney are doing a hundred celebration concert, and they're doing it all around the UK. I think there's like six or eight venues. I nearly lost my mind when I saw the last venue was Bournemouth. Nothing good like that comes to Bournemouth. Like, I think it's because obviously where we're based south, we're quite central. So yeah, I imagine they so picked it, us because... It goes, they always do Bristol and they'll do either Southampton or Portsmouth. And we're mm. kind of like in the middle. Yeah. So it's like, not never bother. Our Bournemouth Bic Although, Pavilion, we, ne- we haven't been there in years. The Bic's quite good. The Bic, back in the day, you used to have loads of things. I've seen Prodigy there. I've seen... Did I see Lincoln Park at the bit? I saw Rihanna there. And I think I saw Lincoln Park at you too. But yeah, I saw the Prodigy at the bit. I've seen Billy Connolly at the bit. I've seen mm-hmm. the Harlem Globetrotters at the bit. Yeah, I've seen loads. The well, it's a bit quite big. The yeah. next big thing is the Disney 100 concert. So we're seeing that. Let's know if you're going to that, wherever you've got tickets for. I'm assuming a lot of you will go to the London one, but we are going to share that as well, how that is. I don't know if we can film it, but, you know, that's coming up. Um, and then, oh, Gary said pop-up books were so good. Yeah. <laughs> still, still good. Um, so yes. Then the other Disney thing is they have an exhibition coming, Disney 100 exhibition. It's just opened in Philly, Philly. Philadelphia and it's also going to open in Germany, in Munich. And that's in April. The, the Philly one's just opened uh, and it's coming to London it says in autumn, and essentially it is just an exhibition. I say just, it's a beautiful exhibition of loads of costumes, props, and they've even made a deep fake of Walt himself at the beginning, which has caused some like controversy in the Disney community, but I haven't seen it obviously. So I am really intrigued about that. We're going to get tickets to that in London. Can I say my Walt Disney fact that I told you the other day? I can't remember what it was. Right, so I listened to um, No Such Thing as a Fish, the podcast. I love it. I've listened, I think I listened to literally since podcast number 10 or whatever, and they're on hundreds and hundreds now. Um, and they reckon that the whole reason behind like the double finger point isn't like a rudeness for a one finger. He was a massive, massive smoker. He used to smoke three packets of cigarettes a day. And Obviously, back in the day, it used to be everyone smoked, and that was the thing, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. But then, as the Disney have tried to, tried to clean up their act, they've removed any cigarettes from Walt's hands, and he was always smoking. Well, they've edited, that yeah. Picture. So, okay. and apparently, in the photo, when he's pointing at whatever he's pointing, he's got a cigarette in his hand. Someone said you're right. So, about pointing. then for all their iconic things, they've had to thingy. They've had to. And so to make it look more normal, they've got all of all the cast members to do it now as well. Oh my god, that's insane. That I literally never knew that. Like I never ever knew that that was the reason. I, I hadn't even looked into it. I feel like I want to watch some more po- like listen to some more podcasts about sort of secrets behind um behind Disney and stuff. Yeah, so. it's not, it's like so obviously a non-Disney podcast, but yeah, that's the that's the that's the crack. I think that's, I think I believe them. Yeah. Someone said another thing I've learned from Penji. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. And you're, you're, you're quite welcome to regurgitate that fact as complete and utter gospel because <laughs> why would you let facts get, why would you let the truth get in the way of a good story? Yeah. Yes. Benji I out also, there with the fact Friday. So I listen, I've got a her- tor- terrible <laughs> habit of listening to like music or podcasts when I go to sleep. I always listen to that when I go to sleep. So I know a lot of half facts from where I start listening oh. to that segment of the podcast and fall asleep and then never bother, just go and then never bother oh. going back. So I set up like a 15 minute timer and then I just hear part of a fact. So I know lots of half facts, but without the the good bits, the well, numbers. You're going to have to go away and get some more Disney ones because that Di- Walt Disney World one is interesting. Okay. The Walt Disney fact is good. You are welcome. Um, what time of year is your wedding? We are going to share all that with you so soon, so soon. Some of you know that Benji's going to be going for surgery, so we're sort of focusing on that, and then we're going to share our, our wedding plans. Right, in the summer, won't we? We'll start sharing stuff. Probably Ish. earlier than that, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, soon, very soon. Do you both have any tips for when you're struggling mentally? Assume anxiety has been high for you both. Get completely obsessed with golf. <laughs> That's helped me massively. 
I feel like it really depends on what it is and like it's I, such a broad spectrum isn't it mm, and it's easy for me to say like obviously talking to people um but it, at different times in my life different things have worked so you know for one time in my life um going swimming and to the gym and walks was like a massive um mood booster for me um but then obviously talking to my friends has been something I do or like distracting myself reading has been a massive thing for me this year having something you can like um, jump fully into isn't it but also Whether i recognize that like one of my friends suggested that if i have just distraction techniques then i'm not actually addressing what's upsetting me so you know you have to like find the good balance but yeah sending you loads of love and hope things are better very soon um shell said we should do a podcast together <laughs> we we've have talked, talked about, it. about it mm, we? we have talked about it but we don't it would require way too much editing on brogan's point of view well now i have a manager <laughs> my time is loosening up so we would never say never but it would have to be the right I thing never say never. we did have a couple of ideas didn't we we've had a few ideas maybe watch this space we have absolutely no plans right now but maybe in the future um, I don't have any plans to bring back the podcast with Bianca either. I love doing that. And we're so proud of it. And sometimes I do listen back to episodes. But um, with Bianca having a full-time job and um, me trying to manage my other platforms, we just sort of felt like we'd um, done all the episodes we wanted to do. And I'd rather walk away with it being a completed three seasons we did. We were so proud of. So um, probably unlikely. But never say never on a future podcast. Um Oh, and no one's asked the question, um, <laughs> so I'm just going to tell you anyway. Okay. I, I get quite a few DMs about my teeth um, journey. Oh, yeah, please share that. Um, so when was it? Probably October last year. I don't. I, I, don't, I, can't, I can't remember when it was. But October last year, mm -hmm. I got... It was, It's not Invisalign, but it's mm -hmm. the same kind of concept. Um, so I went to the doc dentist, said... Oh, so I always had a gap in between my front teeth. Uh, bottom teeth are, like were crooked mm -hmm. and I have finally after about 18 weeks 16 different trays I have finished it as of yesterday um so I yeah so in about two weeks time I get my like permanent retainer not permanent semi-permanent retainer but I wear now for a while with your teeth whitening with my t yeah and then I'll also put my teeth whitening thing mm -hmm. Um, so I did professional teeth whitening at my dentist, which I don't think I've talked about yet, but I did it for like uh, six or eight weeks, was it? Um, but my teeth are so sensitive, so sensitive. So I'm on like the smallest amount and I do it really sporadically. Um, but my dentist basically like suggested that I just do it every couple of days at night. I haven't done it for a few months because I've been waiting for Benj to catch up. Because um, I have like, so do it I together. Had, but, like little buttons on my teeth. So I, mean, yeah. I couldn't do the whitening whilst I was had the buttons, but literally yeah. they got taken off yesterday. So, but it's changed. I think what my confidence. Yeah, and a lot of you will notice it in the vlogs and in photos that his smile has changed. I used to get picked on quite a lot because um, having the last name Lever, which rhymes with Beaver, Beaver, and having buck teeth isn't like a fantastic um, combination, mm -hmm. um, especially when you're also ginger. And I know a lot of people know what that's like growing up. So, um, mm -hmm. yeah. So. Um, that I was really struggled growing up and pretty much before until I met Brogan really I never used to like having my photo taken I was always self-conscious and I'd always smile with like a closed mouth so I almost had to like learn how to um like smile naturally again um mm -hmm. and you'll notice on my um you'll notice on my on our, like, most recent photos I'm like properly grinning which I haven't I hadn't done until I had the confidence, mm -hmm. and so yeah, I'm so there. He has I'm there. So I say, feel free to like ask opinions. Well, that is my opinion, really. I, yeah. I loved it. I'd do it all over again. It didn't really hurt like the first day that you have the new trays. Like it's a bit sore for a day, and then they start to adjust. Um, but yeah, yeah, I think I think it was worth it. Good. I'm pleased for you. So yeah, Benji did that, which is good. Because obviously, in the lead up to our wedding, we want to feel our best selves. So we just thought it would be a good investment for both of us, me with my whitening. I still have a few things I want to do. And I have to have two wisdom teeth taken out next week. Don't talk to me about it. I don't want me. to talk about it. That it's happening. <laughs> so that if I don't talk on stories for a few days, you know why. <laughs> 
Um, so the only other things, we are going to wrap this up at nine. So we've got 10 more minutes if there were any other questions you wanted to ask us. I know a few have come in about cruise. We did talk about this at the beginning, but yes, we have a cruise that we're planning with Piano Cruises. Uh, we are going to be covering Arvia. I don't think, I don't know if I can say where. It's probably quite obvious because Arvia only goes... It's the Mediterranean, I think, is what we're looking at. We're yeah. going to cover the Med. Um, so haven't got dates for that just yet, but we are going to be doing that, hopefully, fingers crossed, in the summer. So that will be a sponsored about that. thing with Piano Cruises again. We've been on board yeah. in dock. So I'm looking forward to being on the ship. Yeah, I am so sailing. excited. It's going to be amazing. So that's our next uh, trip, I think it will be. Obviously, we've got our Bath in London, like we said. That's coming up. Um, would oh someone else yeah the podcast uh are you eloping just the two of you Caitlin we're gonna talk all about our wedding plans in a whole separate video you'll have to wait and see we have not played Hogwarts Legacy yet either I'm so basic when it comes to games like it's just free, I haven't free actually, from Call of Duty for me I'm so sorry I'm Foot Manager I haven't played my Switch in ages at all I've been reading that's what I've been doing in my downtime. Um, I was wondering if you were going skiing. I loved all your ski vlogs and packing videos. Oh, yes. We've loved skiing over the last years, but we've just decided to put a pause on skiing right now. Um, some of you may or may not know, Benji's preparing to have open heart surgery. Um, so we have talked about that in a vlog recently, if you want to go and watch that. And we will be talking about it again in another vlog in our own time. But um, we just figured, in answer to your question, that it was maybe not the right time to go skiing. No, I struggle quite a lot with... Um... Uh, like exhaustion and I can't think of the word tiredness, but that's not yeah. the word. Um, you so, just really tired. Hence so. why I've been doing golf and bowls rather than football, cricket, rugby, all of that stuff. Yeah, so skiing would definitely be at the top of the no nos at the moment. Right whilst now, I'm, yeah. Whilst I'm kind of doing my thing, maybe like, maybe next season we'll yeah. see. Um, we also had there was a couple of questions about my nanny. That's so sweet of you to ask. She is okay, thank you. I have mentioned this, but she's living in a dementia home. Um, so I probably won't film her um just because of the situation, but she does come and visit. Fatigue, thank you. Um fatigue, yeah. Um, she does come to my mom's house and comes here and stuff, but um yeah, she's like, okay. We do little like um dinners out, don't we, with her and she yeah, she loves going for a scone, doesn't she? So I love yeah, my I nanny so much. Like love her. Um, any plans for Hawaii, Alani? Hawaii. No, no plans, but we'd love to. I mean, it looks amazing. Um, heading to Prague next week. We've never been to Prague, been but we'd Prague. like to do Prague. Never been to Prague. Um, lots and lots of questions about trips and things. So um, any other YouTubers you recommend watching? Claire, I could honestly recommend you so many people, so many. It depends on what you want. Um, so maybe drop me a DM on Instagram and let me know the kind of people you like and I will dig out my sub box and share some with you. Um, love your nanny. I spent the whole Big Potato game vlog laughing at her. She's yeah, that so was sweet. That was a good one. <laughs> that she was just such has a good no, one. She has no filter, does she? <laughs> no. <laughs> I love her. No. So... Yeah, I that's pretty much everything that's coming up. That I, I honestly still can't believe that we're here at 100k. Like it's just so emotional. I have also been filming a weekly vlog. Now, listen, <laughs> I know a lot of you love the weekly vlogs, and I know that they were sort of like your thing. Yes. However, however, I know a lot of you understand that they don't work for me anymore. And I've been filming one this week and it's been amazing. I'm really proud of it. I'm going to edit it this weekend. I'm aiming to get it to you Monday, hopefully, because if you're OG, you'll know Mondays at six was the weekly vlog day. I already have a home vlog up at the moment. So maybe go and watch that one just in case I don't get the weekly vlog done in time because I haven't started it yet and there's loads of footage. But it is so much more intense than I remember, like being on camera every single day, remembering what to film, remembering the last thing I filmed, making sure it flows. I just find a home vlog and a day in the life so much easier for me and my lifestyle and just like having that break from being on and off camera. But I have really loved filming it for you this week. We picked up the camera. We did quite a few things, didn't we? 
Didn't get um, on the morning camera, did we? Did not get that that's on camera. That's the main thing again. That's the main thing. That's the main thing, obviously. Yes. Um, but yes, that's coming your way. So if you do love the home vlogs, the week vlogs, the less like the chit chatty ones, um, I did film. We filmed the reaction to when it actually happened, when I actually hit 100K, which was so cool because I had a really busy week this week. I was in London. I had scarf gate, if you've been following my Instagram stories. Which I left you have my got scarf. Your scarf, haven't you? I left my scarf in the Disney store and everyone keeps saying to me, what a shame, you've got to go back and get it. Um, but luckily it was there. Anyway, I've been really busy this week and I didn't know when the 100K would actually happen. And I really wanted to be around for it. Like I really wanted to be at the screen and watch the number tick over. And I really wanted to be with Benj. Um, and it was so weird. The moment it happened, the door went and we had a friend over as well. And he went downstairs to get the parcel and it was from YouTube. It arrived from YouTube as the 100,000 happened, which was kind of wild. Everything kind of like lined up, didn't it? Because if we didn't have Sean around, then I would have had to go and get your parcel. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't have seen your 100. It was, yeah. Just... It just worked, didn't it? It was yeah. so, we were so lucky. So yeah, so that was nice to be filmed that um we filmed the um the date night dinner we did last night as well we, well, we filmed a bit of b-roll i'll talk about that um and then this weekend it's just me and bond i'm gonna be reading and chilling and just thank you so much honestly i just can't thank you all enough for everything that you do for us when i i started speaking to youtube I don't know how interesting this is but um i got given a youtube partner manager which essentially there's a small team at youtube that look after a small selection of creators and they help them grow. And I've been invited to do, I call it YouTube school because every two weeks I do um, virtual online sessions where I learn more about what's coming up at YouTube and how I can best utilize all their tools. And they recommended doing live streams. And I was like, I don't know how to do it though. So um, it's been amazing chatting to my partner manager. And um, she said to me, like, it's gonna, your, your YouTube, your 100K is going to happen so fast. And um, and then she said that they're going to hopefully get the silver plaque play button rolling soon so I can get that. And when that arrives, I'd love to do a whole video on the things I've learned, my experience and advice if you want to start growing a YouTube channel. So keep an eye out for that as well. Um, I just want to say thank you so much to Cassie. She said, I love your content going to Walt Disney World in April and I'm doing Flower and Garden for the first time. Also, thanks to you. I love Mammoth Club. Oh my gosh, have an amazing time. Is thank you so much. Yes, that is Got you. Mammoth Club. Oh, so funny to see Molly. you have your little fangirl moment. I really love her. I absolutely love her. Um, yes, that was really fun. So thank you so much. I've had an amazing time. Uh, so yeah, we've only got a couple more minutes before we're going to wrap it up. Um, so we'll finish, we'll do some final questions. What is a must for a first visit? Oh my gosh, I feel like... Small world. I feel like we could well, make a whole video on that. You've got to do a small world visit every time you go. Fireworks. Fireworks. Meet Mickey. Eat a Mickey shaped snack. Um, yeah, meet parade. A, meet a character. Didn't, yeah. yeah. Parade. And just have the best time ever. Like, just soak it all up. Everything about it's amazing. Um, any recommendations for someone wanting to start videos but doesn't know where to start? I, I'm i going to do a whole video and cover all this, but honestly, I didn't know where to start either. I made an About Me video and I just chatted to the camera. I learned how to edit on iMovie. And guess what? I still use iMovie. <laughs> all my YouTube friends are like, how are you still on iMovie? I have Final Cut Pro. I just choose to use iMovie. So why fix something that's not broken? I managed to get to 100K using hi maybe so Steph that sounds like an absolute fever dream she said that she got stuck on small world for 20 minutes that I think that is everybody's worst nightmare it's great for exactly the duration of the of the ride a second longer and I think we'd all go insane yeah no I, I did find it absolutely hilarious imagine that we got small, stuck on a phantom man at this imagine week, small world on like half time speed stuck on it like small oh my <laughs> gosh no horrendous. that's gonna be in everyone's head <laughs> Um, yeah, what else have we got? Love you guys, take care. Best with your surgery, Benj. Love to you both, Kathy. Thank you so much. Honestly, it's been amazing chatting to you all. Um, we are gonna wrap this up, uh, but I just wanted to say, honestly, thank I, I just don't even know how to say I, thank you. I think it's things like this that makes us want to do more, isn't it? Because we, yes, interacting with so everyone, fun. And being have a fun time, and I think you get to see us being us, don't you? Mm -hmm. Well, obviously, we we're always us and the vlogs and that, but being able to chit chat and stuff like that, I've really enjoyed it. Yeah, me too. Thank you so much. 
Um, massive thank you to Gary C as well, who's been here this whole time. Big love, love to you. Gary. Also, Gary is the single nicest human being Ever. in the whole entire world. Yeah, we uh, have. I love him. We have so many amazing friends, and all our friends have been celebrating and sending me lovely flowers and gifts and cards, and I just feel so loved this week, both in person and online. I'm not going to get emotional about <laughs> it. Um, and just seeing all your names and faces, like this job is honestly the most incredible thing and it's such a privilege to do what I do and I count my blessings every day and I'm so grateful for all of you so thank you it honestly means a lot to me and yeah we've got so many exciting things coming up so many exciting things I can't wait to share it all with you so many more vlogs um but we are going to say goodbye so have a lovely rest of your evening thank you for all your congratulations thank you for all your lovely lovely super chats to all of you that sent those I've loved hearing your um messages and hearing where you're from and where you found my channel Come um over and have a look at us on instagram or we'll share our yes updates and life things and yes please come on us on instagram and um do check out our home vlog that we that we uploaded this week as well if you want to see a bit more behind the scenes of a weekend day in our life um but that's you're the so big, lovely big thing from your hundred thousand is you've created such an amazing community mm. where even seeing this, people helping other people. Yeah, it's as well. amazing. Like, you guys are fantastic. It's and... the best community ever. I have the most amazing corner of the internet. So, biggest love to you all. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, I'm going to end it, I think. <laughs> we could honestly chat all night, but I really appreciate it. And um, just, I hope you all have a lovely weekend. See you again soon. Yes, we will. Um, big, big, big love. I'm going to let everyone say goodbye. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Thank you for your congratulations as well. I'm going to go and give Bonnie Girl a cuddle and read my book in bed. And I feel so like warm and fuzzy now. This is so nice. Love you. Bye. <laughs> Love you. Bye. <laughs>